What's going on YouTube? It's Gary, back again as always. And it's Thursday, as you guys know if you've been watching my channel. Thursdays are my holidays instead of Wednesdays because I work all day Wednesday. So I'm coming to you mad late. Well, not mad late. It's 10 p.m. This probably won't get uploaded till 12 p.m. That takes forever to upload. And this video is going to be quite a quite a long one because um, I got quite a bit of stuff to show. Um, so if you want, pause the video, go get a drink, go to the bathroom, get some popcorn, maybe some cookies, or maybe you should get. The cost of DC's comics favorite motherfucking pretzel M&M's. I didn't even know they made pretzel M&M's in this big ass bag until I watched one of his uh his hotel haul video featuring none other than uh, Mr. Fix a Smash, and uh, he was eating these, and I was like, God damn, that's a big bag. So this will last me forever. So, speaking of which, he sent me a package. And I'm going to show that off after this haul. Um, also, I just walked in the door and uh, Warbound sent me a package that I wasn't expecting at all. He didn't say anything about sending me a package. And he sent me quite a fucking crazy package for Christmas. Um, as well as Jocasta DC Comics, Mr. Canadia. Canadia, not Canada. Mr. Canada. This is one of the things he sent me in the package. Where are you at? I don't know. It's hot in my room right now. Um, Alright, so I'm going to start off with the haul that I got. And then I'm going to show off um, two packages. And that should be the video. But it's going to take a while because it's a lot of stuff to get through. So I'm going to start off with my independent books that I picked up. Walking Dead 105. Such an awesome cover. Of course, you got Carl. The zombies there in his eye. And the reflection. Stoke to see what happens in this book. As well as number one of the hollows. Been hearing good things about it, so I had to pick it up. Music in the background is a band called uh, Basement. They're on permanent hiatus, so they're not doing any more music, but this is their latest record. A uh, month ago, I guess. Um, my shop didn't get clone number one, but they got it in. So I picked up clone number one, as well as clone number two. Very excited to see what's going on with this. So many people have said great things about it. So definitely uh, interested in reading those. And then also, I picked up the last one of this. It's called Change. Uh, the cover just looked interesting. So I picked it up. I have no clue what it's about. I will try my hardest to do reviews um, on Monday or before Monday. I know I didn't do it this past weekend, and I'm sorry about that. It's just uh, I filled in a couple shifts. I'm trying to get holiday money saved up. I'm going to uh, Memphis to spend the holidays with my girl and my girl's family. Hi. And um, so, you know, we need gas money. We need money to get us through the week. And, of course, Christmas money. So, um Speaking of which, she got me a couple early Christmas presents. Um, so I'm going to show them, but then she's going to wrap them and put them underneath the Christmas tree. So, Yeah, even though I'm not supposed to be showing them. I'm not supposed to even see them until Christmas. Um, DC Books, Batman and Robin number 15. Suicide Squad number 15. All tie-ins of uh, Death of the Family. And Batgirl number 15. Big, big week for Bat Books. Such an awesome cover. And of course, can't get Bat Books without getting Batman number 15. Joker on his mind. So very excited to see what happens in this. Number 15 issue. Fantastic Four number two. I know I wasn't gonna. I said I wasn't, wasn't gonna pick it up. I'm gonna give it another chance. But the main reason I picked it up was because of the variant. And if you guys haven't seen the variant yet, you're missing out. It's a one in fifty variant, and it is ridiculous. It's by uh, Adam Kubert. 
All of you guys that know me, or have been watching my videos, know how much I love the thing. Such a badass fucking cover. One of my favorite variants in a while, so. Had to pick that up. Also picked up Amazing Spider Man. Uh, so 699.1. And, um,. I was watching uh, Ghost Critic's review on it. He's already read it and said that it was uh, 699 point worthless. I believe that was the quote that he used. He said it has absolutely nothing to do with the storyline. It's just because Morpheus is obviously getting ready to start his own title in January. And so it's kind of uh, should have been a number one for Morpheus rather than uh, a point one for the Amazing Spider-Man. There's so much going on with that title, I'm surprised they didn't use it to, uh, you know, to explain a little bit more in detail what's going on. But they didn't. So, we'll see. Got one book left. Um, of Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, Cable and the X-Force, number one. Super excited about this book. Um, I went out and bought Cable's first appearance a couple months back when I heard this was going to be a book. Just in case it blows up and, you know, spikes in value a little bit. But, I mean, Cable's an awesome character to begin with, so. Um, also, Arena, uh, Avengers Arena, number one. A lot of people were hating on it, saying they weren't going to get it, but they picked it up. And a lot of people are absolutely in love with this number one. So, I'm very excited to read it. I will be doing a review on it. And I'll let you guys know what I think about it. As well as the variant, the baby variant. Good old Scotty Young still killing it. Uh, Cable and the X Force. Also, uh, baby variant, Scotty Young. And it says, uh, gee, thanks. New clothes are way better than toys. So I thought that was freaking awesome. Yeah. And then also, I'm loving Iron Man so far. So, of course, I had to pick up Iron Man number four. They're speeding right along with this story. I can't believe it's four issues in already. Awesome cover. So that does it for my weekly haul, but I'm just starting. I'm just beginning. Now also, people that watch my stuff on a regular basis know how much I absolutely, absolutely love Brian Wood's uh, writing. He's hit, All his stuff that I've read so far is just great. If you haven't picked up anything by Brian Wood, I highly suggest you do so. I know he's writing an X-Men um, storyline right now, but I don't. I'm. I can't really jump into it. It's too far, too far ahead for me. So I might pick it up um, on trade or something, just because it's his work. But um, I picked up the Couriers. Actually, you know what? I didn't pick it up. This is actually a uh, early Christmas present from my girlfriend, and we saw it. It was the last one they had. I believe it just came out this week in trade. If not, it I mean, it was sitting on the new table, so that's what I was assuming. But i um, very excited to read this. Um, I highly suggest you guys check out Demo, if you haven't, by Brian Wood. And also uh, Local. Both of those are excellent books. Um, I know he did uh, Northlanders. I picked up a couple single issues of those, but I haven't read them. But I've heard they're really, really good. So definitely check out Brian Wood if you get a chance pretty thick trade but um, when I'm finished with this I'll do a review on this as well alright so that does it for my oh nope got one more big thing and this is one of my uh, Christmas presents that will be wrapped under the tree but I wanted to show it to you guys because I got it tonight. I'm just so damn soaked on it. I couldn't wait to show you guys. And it is a new Harley Quinn statue. 
It is just so damn beautiful. She looks so damn sexy. I'm not even going to lie. I'll show it to you guys real quick. And then I got to put it back in the box before I get yelled at. He's asking for an ass open. They also came out with a new Poison Ivy. But I like Harley a little bit better than I like uh, Poison Ivy. So they're both badass statues though. Just so damn badass. And obviously here, we've got her hammer. Uh-oh, you know. Got to get that booty smell good though shot. But the detail on this is just ridiculous. I'm not sure how well my computer's picking it up. And then if you look there, it's got her old school costume. Damn, I don't know how I'm going to show that. Her uh, black and red costume there. Laid out on the floor. On the ground there. I'm sorry if it's not showing too well. I'm trying to do my best. But uh, the way they did her sculpture here is just so damn sexy. Okay. So I am very, very excited to add this to my Batman collection. Uh, so far I've got Batman and Joker black and white. And she's about the same size as they are. So I'm very, very excited to add that to my collection. Go ahead and put it back in the box. But yeah, they also have uh, Catwoman and Poison Ivy in the same series. I'm excited that she stayed out. Yeah, because she's not black and white. All right, so. Which is kind of fitting since you have Joker. Exactly. Um, next up, I am going to show what Tacosta DC Comics sent me. And, uh,. Man, you're crazy for sending me all these books, man. But I love you for it. And yes, I'm going to read your note out loud. Don't worry. <laughs> First off, he sent me this drawing here. Fucking awesome. So he wrote a note to me and it says, Hi, Gary. I guess my package made it. Are you reading this letter out loud? Good. Do it. Now, say this out loud. Greco Fabulous hangs around the shallow end of public pools. Just kidding. No, I'm not. Oh, anyways, I got you some books that I love, and I know that you will too. First, it's Daredevil, number 111, The First Lady Bullseye. So let me show that to y'all. Hooked me up with a first appearance that I didn't have, and I appreciate it so much, man. And it's a variant cover. Can't go wrong with variant covers. So I really appreciate that. Such an awesome cover. Um, let's see. Uh, second is Superman Forever number one, Alex Ross cover, and it collects awesome Superman stories. As soon as I saw it, I was like, damn, he sent it to me because it's an Alex Ross cover. So stoked about it, and I really appreciate it again, man. All the way from Canada. Uh, Ghost Rider number 67 is a cover swipe of Captain America. Such a sexy cover, and I actually don't collect Ghost Rider, but uh, this cover is so badass, it may just get me into Ghost Rider. Um, this is definitely an amazing ass cover. I saw it and I was just like, holy shit. So this is going to go in my short box of, uh, favorite books for sure. This cover is sick.
uh, let's see, uh, 109, the origin issue of, uh, oh no, that was the cover swipe of 109. And this is uh, Wolverine number 60, and uh, he got it from his shot autographed by Larry Stroman, the artist. And if you look right here, it's autographed. Ridiculous, man. Uh, Wolverine book is just like Wolverine Origins movie number two that's coming out soon. Wolverine Max number one sucks so bad. I wanted to show you a good Wolverine flashback. Enjoy, my friend, and I will look out for that key issue for you. Take care. Johnny DaCosta DC Comics. I really, really appreciate it, man. He also threw in a, <laughs> a Captain Canuck comic book uh, Legacy 1.5. Not sure if he threw that in there because I'm a Bruins fan or simply just because it's a Canadian book. But I found it funny. And uh, I love that he sent it to me, you know. This is something a little personal since he is, after all, from Canada. Blame it on Canada. <laughs> just fucking with you, man. So that was a package that I got from him. And this is the letter that he sent. I really treasure these books, man. And, um... You, know, you didn't have to do all that. I really, really appreciate you looking out for me. Um, thanks so much, man. I definitely, definitely, definitely appreciate it. And then I uh, walked, like I said, I walked home. I walked in the door and I saw that a package came out. I left my house around 6 p.m. So this package came mad late. And um, it says, Happy Holidays, Warm Winter Wishes, May the Closest of Friends. And the comfort of home, renew your spirits this Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas and a very prosperous New Year from my family to yours. Warbound 459. And he's always sending me packages. He never even lets me know they're coming. And I really appreciate it, man. Um, it's ridiculous the stuff that he sends me. Um, and like I said, he doesn't even like let me know they're coming. It's just complete surprises, which, hey, who doesn't like surprises in the mail? Yes, it does always go very appreciated. Um, Batman, Pop Heroes, very, very awesome. And it's part of the Dark Knight series. And he sent this, obviously, for my girl. I'm Did sure... Did uh, she squeal? Yeah, she screamed like a little girl. And... Uh, I'm sure uh, Tony Cursive Man can appreciate this. Good old Thor there. And it actually has a place for two nails in the back, so you can just put it up on the wall. And I think that might be what we're going to do. Go ahead and display it on the wall, on her side of the bed. couple more things I got to show. He sent me um, Hot Wheels, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, uh, The Bat, which is really hard to find. I know Cursor Man got a few of them, but uh, they're really, really hard to find. So I definitely appreciate you sending me this, man. So fucking awesome. And he also sent me a package, a five uh, Batman five pack, and this is from uh, the Dark Knight as well. It is the Batcopter on top, and then a uh, Bone Shaker special, the Joker edition, right here. And then the third one is a Dark Knight Batmobile, Ford Fusion patrol car, and then of course the armored truck, like in the movie. And then he sent me a few comics, of course. Uh, the Incredible Hulk, number 70. Yeah, I did. First thing I should. The Incredible Hulk, number 37. Uh, Batman Sword of 
uh, Azrael, Azrael, uh, book two. Batman there. Incredible Hulk number 40. Such a sick cover. Uh, Batman Arkham City number 1 of 5. Another really awesome cover. The prequel to the highly anticipated video game. And retroactive 1990s Batman one shot number one. Obviously, it's a one shot. And the last one he got, he gave me was uh, the Batman Adventures number three. Awesome Joker cover. Warbound. I appreciate it very much, man. Like I said, a complete surprise. Had no idea you were sending me anything in the mail. And uh, definitely goes very, very much appreciated as well as DaCosta DC Comics, man. I really appreciate you guys always looking out for me. It means a lot. It means more than you guys can imagine. Um, and definitely doesn't go unappreciated. That's for damn sure. Um, so yeah, that pretty much does it for this video. I, I thought it was going to be maybe a little bit longer, but I guess I kind of sped through everything. What it is, <laughs> Canada. And I'm, I'm going to have to make a trip up there and see your ass, man. I don't even have, I don't even have a passport or nothing else. I'm going to have to get one so I come visit your ass. And we can, uh. Joke around and have some fucking fun. Be little kids. And you know, maybe I'll come up there for a Bruins game so I can watch the Bruins completely destroy the Canucks. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I appreciate it, everybody. I appreciate y'all watching. New subscribers, thanks for subscribing. Um, old subscribers, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through the uh, instability and. My video is being everywhere and on different dates and not on different dates and being unreliable. But hey, what can you do when you're working and trying to save money? You got to do what you got to do. So that's what I'm doing. Um, anything else to add? <laughs> oh, yeah. We got our very first Christmas tree. I can't show you the... It's uh, Charlie Brown. Oh, I can show you the box. Very first Christmas tree. Bam. <laughs> it stands a whole two feet tall. Get at me. About that life. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm about that life. So that about wraps it up. I hope y'all are having an awesome week. It's Thursday. It's almost the weekend. Hang in there. The weekend for me means I'm out there making money, so I can't complain. Um, but I'll be hollering at y'all. You know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook I just said already. But, um, and of course on here if you guys PM me or leave comments down below, I'll do what I can to get back to you as fast as possible. I know I've been really bad with answering messages and answering comments lately. It's just, I've been super damn busy. Uh, you know, Mr. Fix and Smash, Ben and Tony, i am both tell you, I've just been busy out of my ass and... It's even been hard to get on here and watch videos. So if I haven't commented on y'all's stuff, I apologize. It's just that I've been busy as hell. And uh, don't take it personal. It's not that I'm purposely missing y'all's videos. It's just that I'm not home very often. And when I am, I'm sleeping. So I'm spending, spending time, time with me. this girl. So uh, I will be chatting with y'all. I hope everyone's being safe. Look out for one another. Be good to one another. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Be good or be good at it. Exactly. Be good or be good at it. Till next time.